Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? All fine and you. Yes, good. Beautiful pink hair. It's fuchsia. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's extraordinary. <laughs> thank you. Oh, first of all, thanks for the opportunity for this conversation. Thank you. It's a pleasure. I really like the movie. Oh, good, good. <laughs> okay. Um, um, first, I would know, could you explain what the job of a movement coach um, for film entails? I mean, what do you, what are your main responsibilities and tasks? Yes. Um, my job mainly is to prepare an actor to play in a specific physical role. In the case of this movie, we're talking about apes. Um, and uh, so the responsibility is that because we are working in a medium that is called motion capture, um, we, we'll have to translate the, the, the work of the actor and his body into a creature a digital creature that will be laid over the work of the actor. And so the responsibility of the movement coach is to give the initial color and characteristics and behavior of uh, the creature from the actor before it gets transformed. And so we're trying to get as close as possible to the reality of the final product of the, char the character that they're playing, so that when the special effects come in and do their work after the work of the actor is done in the motion capture system, uh, it becomes even better. Obviously, if, if you can turn anybody standing into an ape, but if he's not playing the ape, he will look like a guy in a Halloween costume at the end of yeah. the work, you know? It's, it, it's as simple as that. And, and we did get a chance to verify it uh, when, we did, uh, when I finished uh, Ape School with the uh, actors, we went into what they call volume and we're in a room and there's uh, you know 50 some cameras around mm -hmm. that are capturing and the uh, VFX team was able to give us a live caption feed and transformation to have an idea of what your character looked like after becoming an ape. It was yeah. by no means as good as what you see in the movie, but it was enough for the actors to, to understand, oh, oh yes, if I'm here, you know, and, and I do this, then I, I'm looking like my character, more so than just a, if you stood there waiting, you know, you, you really like, like, look like somebody in, in a costume. And this is not yes. what you want. You you want to be the true creature, so that you know my role in there was to prepare these actors to be these these true creatures. Yes, it's a very specific role. Yes, the... yes, yes. It, it requires uh, a, a lot of uh, preparation, study, understanding of the creatures. Uh, in this case, I'm we're obviously emulating apes, so the work was done. There's a lot of research on apes. But when I do this work to invent a new creature, I start from mm -hmm. scratch, then I have to start from the body of the actor and we I improvise until we find the mimics of this, this new creature that we're inventing. But it's the same process. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And what was the most rewarding thing about working on the Kingdom of the Apes? Um, what valuable for, reason for me, for you know, reason. really, and and this is personal, but for me, any time I'm working with a, a, another human being who is passionate about what he does, and I'm able to help him get better and achieve what he is looking for, and then I can deliver this to a production who also achieve what they were looking for, um, that that to me is the reward. It it really is. It's, it's, uh, it's just being able to help, being able to, to get the right contribution 
uh, for th this because uh, you the know contribution uh, with yeah. the magic. Yes, with the magic and and because it's such a huge production and and everyone you know it's not a personal thing. It's not like oh I you know this is my stuff. It's really for me. It's really about I want these performers and everybody around to be at their best. You know. Oh. So That's that they, they serve a higher purpose because, yeah, you yeah. know, any project yeah. has a life of its own. And, and as part of this process, I, I have to be of service. That's, that's how I work. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> great. I don't know what to Thank say God. about it. We can't <laughs> say God. anything. Mm. Um, and could you please invite to the Mundo Películas audience in Chile and Latin America to not miss the Planet of the Apes? Yes, absolutely. Please, do not miss <laughs> the movie Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, one of the greatest achievement in, I guess, digital <laughs> filmmaking. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful work. It's fantastic. Please oh, thank you enjoy so it. thank you so much for this interview. <laughs> You're so welcome. Have a great day. Love the hair. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.